Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael Fox, and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV X Yokai event. Um, so, if you didn't see my last video, yeah, the game's actually getting a little bit choppy now. God, I really need to upgrade my computer so bad. Uh, so if you remember from my last video, I talked a little bit about the Yokai Watch event. Um, uh, if you want, I'm not going to go into the really details about Yokai Watch or what it is or blah blah blah. But the event has started. Uh, it started yesterday. Actually, I didn't get a chance to start this video uh, just because I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. And when I don't feel it, I tend not to, even though I want to record. But I don't feel like recording. Um, then the video always turns out bad. So recording it now, um, and I'm going to post uh, this on my my Friday video. Uh, anyway, end up rambling on that. Um, so, in the event, you collect minions, and then once you have these minions, you can use the minions to get um, weapons that look like those minions. And then if you collect all the minions, you get a mount as well. I don't know if there's any other secrets hiding in the event somewhere. I hope there is. Um, one thing I thought would be really interesting if like either they had the Yokai Watch theme somewhere within these events, um, or even if the mount played the Yokai Watch theme when when you wrote it, uh, I I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not. But um, it would be cool. Uh, also, what would be cool is if uh, they did. Um, as we've ever seen the show at the beginning, the the characters are dancing this weird little Yokai Watch dance. It'd be hilarious if that was an emote that they put into the game. Um, anyway, I have no idea what to expect, um, but we're going to start this up. A complete game changer. Uh, so this is the first quest. Um, I'm also doing this on, because there's going to be tons of fates that I have to do, um, so I'm going to do it on my Machinist class. I feel like, like man, I got a level, I'm gonna not, I don't want to waste this EXP. So. Um, so you get a Yokai Watch, and you get a Yokai Medal, and then the Yokai Medallum. Medallum? Okay, the poor held youth is visibly vexed. Except. Uh, how could I have I lost my strategy? How could I have lost? My strategy was foolproof. Listen, friend, if you have an inclination towards that Lord of Emilion game at the Gold Saucer, I'd say the best to think twice. I spent a fortune on critter on my critters and scores of and scores of victories to boost. Then some newcomer waltzed up and challenged me. I knew there was something strange about him. An Aura with hair of vibrant hue? Glint in his eyes called himself the Mandarin Executive. Mandarin? 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 Or some such. Still, I am not one torn, torn down by a match. Novice or veteran? Hells, I even gave him a head start. But the minions he used, they weren't like any I've ever seen before. They were demons, I tell you. Wow. You guys got some issues. Uh, I accused him of cheating, but then he said he had positioned, positioned, petitioned the gold saucer to use them for battle, and the little buggers were improved. Needless to say, my beloved team was torn to shreds every time. Seems like anything qualifies these days. I've completely lost my appetite for the game, but if you're curious about these so-called minions, you should head over to the gold saucer and take a look for yourself. He's still loitering around there where I left. Yokai, watch quest accepted. That's cool. I love, I love that they do these, these ridiculous things. Uh, um, man, I hope it's not, I hope it's not so choppy. I yes, Blaine. Yes. All right, let's head over to the gold saucer. Okay, so we've made it to the gold saucer. Here's that wandering, wandering executive. Has a guy a new player and he's got like freaking that black mage standing next to me there. Well, can I help you, sir? I suppose it's going around uh, about this little fellow. I would be delighted to tell you about him, truly, but I'm afraid I'm preoccupied at the moment. I'm waiting for someone who is unreasonably late. Wait, now that I think about it, um, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Alternatively, I may have a proposition for you. If you help me out, I will tell you more about my feline friend here. And do you accept? Sure, why the fuck not? Ah, 
and the deal struck. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a tradesman come from far beyond the borders of Eorzea. Though I am a slave to wanderlust, I occasionally return to my homeland where I manage a sizable company. Where I manage a sizable company that deals in eccentric comedy commodities. Thus, the locals called me the Wandering Executive, and I wear the little way. I wear the title with pride. I am often accompanied by an, an intrude, an intrudite, or trite, traveling companion, but he appears to have gotten quite lost on his journey. We were strolling in the twilight of the back black shroud when he grew excited and scampered off to do some sightseeing of his own. He was aware I had some affairs to take care of here, so I thought I'd let him enjoy himself while I finished with my task and stayed in one spot. But he hasn't shown up in hours. Perhaps you could ask around Bent Branch for me. I find and find out what's keeping him. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, my friend is not of my tribe. He is rotund. He is a rotund little soul, white as snow and floats around the air like a cloud. Except if clouds could speak, I would hope that they would be as long-winded as he. Or they wouldn't be as long-winded as he. To the Black Shroud. Alright, we are here in Tabent Branch. Gotta talk to a few people. I'll probably kind of skip these. I, I doubt... I doubt they're going to be any of actual use. It's probably just going to be like, oh, this is what we're here. It's not like it's one of those quests that doesn't tell you what's happening. You actually have to read stuff. Although I do like those sometimes. The Bajaz were saying they've never seen a spirit quite like it. I feared it would take the total to see zero. So seal it away near the great onion tree. Oh, God. That little, that little thing's been sealed away, it sounds like. That's terrible. Round white and floats the air. Uh, I see it's a person because I see searching for one of the Moogles. Investigate the area around the guardian tree. Alright. Alrighty then. Here we are, guardian tree. Ancient stone vessel. A gentle breeze rustles through the leaves of Gardani, the guardian tree. As an. as an. an Antiquated as an antiquated stone vessel sits unmoving under earth. Nevertheless, you cannot help but feel a shiver up your spine. Sure. Make that same mistake that the astronauts did on the moon. Open an unmarked container. As a Power Rangers reference, if no one got that. I hope my son's TV show is not coming through too much. It probably is. What the hell? Is it a Pokeball? You have freed me. Much appreciated, much appreciated indeed. But uh, where are my manners? Whisper, at your service, I am a yokai, a supernatural being. I've never seen the yokai TV show, so I have no idea what his voice is supposed to sound like. I know, I know. You were wondering why I was so s was in that spooky stone capsule. I was floating along, taking in the scenery when night fell and I lost sight of the path. I wandered until I came across a small boy and asked him how to return to Bent Branch. But that self-righteous horned child declared me an unnatural presence in the forest and locked me away. Oh, I was so horribly cramped. Why would he do such a thing? 
to an innocent visit of his lands. I never said I was an evil supernatural being. I was defenseless, I tell you, utterly defenseless, utterly unwary, vulnerable. Anyway, I happen to come across a tribe of yokai who know how to reward their liberators properly, and therefore I have a gift to bestow upon you, my new corporal friend here. The impressive device is called a yokai watch. It will allow you to encounter other supernatural beings like myself. With that on your wrist, the mundane will become the magnificent. Oh, and unbelievable things you will see just that, just with that watch. If I weren't broken, if it weren't broken. Now, now, do not think I would give my savior a watch entirely beyond repair. It's just that I had not found someone worthy enough for a long time. My friend had been meaning to take a look at it, but yeah, he sent me to find you. Uh, yes, that's him, all right. He sent you to rescue me? Splendid, splendid. So he was waiting for me at the gold saucer, was he? Had I not gotten lost and put my precious, my precarious possession I would have surely set off to the distance at one desert at once. Let us depart without delay. I will give you the watch. T I will give if you give the watch to him when we arrive. I am sure he will repair it for you, and then it will allow you to encounter unbelievable beings like myself. Okay. Back to the gold saucer, I guess. All right, back at the gold saucer. There's Whisper. Wow, I didn't. Hey, very small saucer. Whisper explained everything that transpired. What luck you were able to find, my friend. Had you not, I would have never known he had been sealed inside the vessel. You have my sincerest gratitude. He told me you have something to show me as well. Yeah, can you fix this piece of garbage that he gave me? Ah, I see. So he decided to give you the yokai watch. A broken yokai watch, rather. However, there was no need to worry. Whatever my spirited companion did, did to it appears to be completely repairable. Wait a moment while I get out my tools. This guy's cool. Hmm, yes, I see. Unjam that slot. Uh, the hand... Back a couple of ticks, polish to the face, and... Success. Your watch is now in excellent shape. Go on. Take it. Thanks, man! And a bargain is a bargain. You wish to know more about my mysterious minions, yes? I'm certain Whisper mentioned the yokai to you. I brought I brought a handful of these supernatural beings with me from my homeland. Like Whisper, this feisty feline is also a yokai, but from a different tribe. Look at him. Some yokai grow to be quite friendly once they get to know you. Others, however, are mischievous and to blame and to blame for otherwise inexplicable happenings. If you wish, I can introduce you to I can introduce you to more aff aff affable, affable, affable ones I've brought. Should the yokai warm up to you, they become stalwart allies, but you can summon to fight for your command. Well, at the gold saucer anyway. But there is a slight caveat. I cannot accept Eorzean currency for my services. I deal primarily in yokai metals. I'm feeling generous since you have helped me retrieve Whisper, so I'll give you one for free. To obtain more, well, that's where your yokai watch will come in handy. Should you chance upon certain fateful happenings, put the watch on your wrist and you shall be rewarded for your 
mysterious deeds. M Metris. Met Metris? Met Whatever. In addition to yokai, I also brought other wares which may interest an adventurer like you. Exotic weapons, especially designed for the fine artisans of my company. We accept legendary medals as payment for these weapons. What are you doing, buddy? Thanks. Here, should your weapons suit you, should our weapons suit your taste, this yokai medallum will prove useful in explaining where you can obtain the necessary legendary medals for each weapon. A bit of inconvenience, I know, but I would be a terrible businessman if I simply gave our wares away for free. Yeah, it's true. <sighs> when Whisper's long wittedness is starting to rub off on me. Feel free to speak with me about the yokai or the weapons at your leisure. I still have a few loose ends to tie up here in the gold saucer. I trust that I won't be wandering for a while. Oh, and my real name is Noe. Nohi. Yes, Nohi. Glad to finally make your acquaintance. Thanks, Nohi. Yokai medals are a symbol of entertaining a sacred... Entering a sacred bond. Oh, that's a whisper. Yokai medals are a symbol of entertaining... Entering a sacred bond. More than friendship, more than marriage, the Yokai watch, you will be able to gain those medals. I told you that it would allow you to encounter unbelievable beings, didn't I? Yokai watch complete! Okay, Yokai medals can be attained by completing fates while equipped with the Yokai watch. Yokai medals can be found at fates in the following 13 areas Black Shroud, the central east, south, and north, Middle Anosa, lower, western, and upper, and outer. Central, Western, Eastern, and Southern. Legendary medals can be attained a bit at low probability by participating in fates in areas designated in the Yokai Medallum while completing while accompanied by the Yokai minion designed on the medal. The Yokai Medallum can be accessed from the key items menu or the minion guide. Should you lose the Yokai Medallum, you may speak with Nohi again during the event to obtain another. Please take care not to discard the item by accident. Okay. End of the watch. Okay, so let's talk to No here. A pleasure to see you again. You met my yokai. Perhaps you browse my words of blah, blah, blah. Uh, Let's see. Let's purchase minions. Oh, so I can I can do one. So it's one minion per metal. What, pal? I love you too, Blaine. Okay, so uh, Komasan is, I think, the one I want. Like, it doesn't even show you which which one's which. I think that was the one I wanted for my white mage weapon, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna buy him. Yep, that's the one. Let's get you acquainted. Let's get you acquainted then. Meet your new friend, Komasan. I hope you two will get along. Watch me if you can, Komasan! Oh my god, there's is there really that many achievements to unlock with this? So, I wonder if there's a watch me if you can for each minion. I would imagine. Okay, so. Oh, now it requires three, so they give you your first one for one. Oh my lord. So, Yokai Metals required three, bag zero. So there's 12, 12 times 3, 24, 4, 5, 6, I need like 36 medals, somewhere in there, I think, does that sound, I could be way off, I'm an idiot, uh, okay, and then let's see, weapons, oh, so it takes, so it takes 7, so that's not too bad. Not like it's like 15 or some shit. Um, 
the Komasan, legendary Komasan medals. Okay, so um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do for the rest of this video. Um, I think maybe I'll do a couple fates to see what it looks like uh, when you achieve the when you get those medals, um, and then um, and then I'm gonna. Oh, here he is. He got bored with guarding his shrine. Now he wants to guard you. Komasan. Um, so I think I'll, I'll at least do a couple fates. Um, I'll do a couple fates, get three medals, and then come back here and choose another minion and see if there's a achievement for that next minion. Um, and then I think I'm going to just completely cut and, and get all the minions and then get the mount for the end of this video. Um, so stick around for another second. I'm going to cut uh, into doing some fates. There we go. Okay, so I got a yokai medal out of that. A simple silver coin that chill, sends chills down your spine. Okay, so um, I'm gonna stop recording for a little bit and I'm just gonna record until I... What is that? Oh, it's God, what mount was that? It looked like a flying eye, but it was all like skinned alive and death looking oh my god okay I have no idea what mount that was that must be a new mount that they must recently have put into the game um okay so um that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and stop recording for a bit um and then I'm going to get all those yokai medals that I need and then I will be back to buy all the minions and get that mount Okay, everybody, I'm back from doing tremendous amounts of fates. Uh, it, it literally probably took me a whole day because I did a bunch. I did a bunch the first day, and then this morning I did some more. Uh, so it's been over uh, It's been over a period of two days. So I, I think I played till I probably played like about four or five hours. Um, and, and then I come to find out, like, I thought I got all the medals I needed for the minions. But no, every, like, when you buy, when you buy minions, um, for the event, it increases in tiers. So it increased to, like, like, seven or five. Um, and then it increased to nine. So, like, you need a total of, like, 72 or 74, like, regular medals or something. Um, and then it also does the same thing for the weapons. So the first weapon's seven. Second weapon's nine, I believe, and then it goes for fifteen for most of the weapons. So the last three are like thirty of the the legendary medals that you have to get. I thought that was really stupid, and it kind of frustrates me a little bit. I, I almost like I got my one white mage weapon, of course, but I almost don't even want to bother getting any of the like the other weapons. I might get the bard weapon, um, but we'll we'll see about that. Uh, if I end up doing that, I might do another video on it. Oh, good. Good. Very good. <laughs> my, my son's playing with his marble, his, his marble runs. So, okay. So, first off, um, I'll show you the weapon first. Uh, I'm wearing it right now. It's, it's a pretty cool, it was a pretty cool looking weapon. Um, it's, it's got a ball on it. It looks very, uh, like, um. Japanese shrine. Uh, no, Blaine. I'm trying. I'm trying to do a video. What? I love them. So, okay, good. Uh, it's very like um, Japanese shrine looking, which I was really excited about. Uh, so it's got Komasan on the top of it. He's got his little bag. I kind of wished it had more color to it, uh, like the minion does. Uh, but the staff is a neat shape. It's got a cool ball on it that glows, and then it's got the the little tassels on it, which are really cool. Um, let's see. And then, so I didn't get any other weapons. I, I started getting some of the weapons, uh, or the bard weapon. This is one of the legendary medals, the whisper one. Um, 
the drop rate on them wasn't too bad, to be honest. Like, I was expecting it to be absolutely terrible. Um, but I got the first seven in just a couple hours. I got all seven of mine in about 45 minutes. Oh, so Kat, my wife, got hers in like 45 minutes, so they're not too terrible. If you got a good party that's going around just crushing fates in the face, uh, then it's not too bad. I did all of mine by myself. Oh, Kat did all hers by herself. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> But I did it all in the morning, though. So, so we're going to look at the minions. We're going to look at them one at a time. Uh, this is probably going to be the longest part of the video, to be honest. Jibanyan. After being run over... Oh, God. Jibanyan was bound to a busy crossroads where he spent his days taking revenge on any passing vehicle that stood in his way. Yeah, don't you know they're all ghosts? I know. Well, yes, I know they're all spirits they or all ghosts. Some way. There he is. Look at him. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da. Well, what's he doing? Jibanyan. Uh, I think this was like the first yokai in the game or whatever. Or not the game, but the, the, the show. The show. And here's Jibanyan. Uh, or Komasan. Komasan is a lion dog that came from the, the rural area. He often expresses awe when traveling the city. Look at him. Uh, man, I can't. Okay. Uh, so I have almost a, a huge amount of time on this, I guess. Um, Usa Pian, I'm calling him. I, I don't know how to actually pronounce his name. He's like a space bunny. Uh, a yokai. A yokai from across the sea. USA Pian hopes to someday venture into space. He uses. Vader mode when he is angry. That's kind of weird. Whisper. Here, let's move this over. Let's move it over here so you can actually kind of see him. Whisper, a self-proclaimed yokai butler. With the way he talks, you would think he may know it all, but he is really, he really, he's a really a know-nothing. Oh, look, they're talking. The Shogun was uh, one of my favorites, actually. Look at him. Yeah. Sh Shogun. This yokai is Jaban's legendary warrior ancestor. He just loves to skip skipjack. T he loves skipjack tuna and carries it around with his armor. On in his armor. Okay, whatever. I wish there was a better way to like get a good view of like just the minions on the ground, so I could actually show them to you. Hover Nyan. Hover Nyan. Hover Nyan? Which one did you end up? Although he is floating, he is actually very down to earth. While the white mark on his forehead is is an honorable battle scar. Look at him. Look at that battle scar. What's that a battle scar? Oh, Komajiro. Komajiro is Komasan's twin younger twin. He looks for his runaway brother, but he can't find him anywhere. Like, he was just with me just five seconds ago. It's fine. Knuckle. Ah! No Noko. Noko's up next. No, no, no. He's freaking weird looking. Noko's always scared of being seen by humans, which happens a lot since he's terrible at hiding. Look at him. He's right there. Uh, Venoct. Announcing that right. Oh, she's kind of cool. Oh, those dragons. She's got dragons. An elite yokai who fights with a dragon scarf. Why can't I have a dragon scarf? Uh, QB, Q, QB, yeah, QB was really uh, one of my one of the cooler looking ones, I think. Yeah, he's bigger too. Look, at, he's like, it's like a fox beast. Uh, this fox yokai is one of the strongest yokai around. He can easily erupt with power, like a live volcano. Where are you going? Where are you going? Look at him. He kind of reminds me of like a Nine Tails. All right, Robayan F-Type, uh, an upgraded model of Robanyan. He removed all of his unnecessary functions to become the perfect robot cat. Hey, hey. He's got a little jetpack and shit. I wish I had a jetpack. Daddy. 
Can't you Lazaria? Just, can't you just take one? Lazaria, a yokai with the power to make temperatures drop. Lazaria can make snowfall in summer and freeze and freeze volcanoes. She's kind of cool. She was one of the ones I was thinking about getting because of the white mage or the black mage weapon. It is, it is her. Manjimut. A man faced poodle who enjoys scaring people frightened by a poodle with a man's face. Uh, I guess that would make sense. Hey, Daddy. God, I can't get a good look at it. These aren't Pokemon, Blaine. They're yokai. Can't take a yokai? Look at him. Oh, Caddy, that that thing's weird looking. I don't know what the heck that is about. Um, so, but that's about it for for the event. Um, what? Oh yeah, my wife's gonna come and show off her bow so we can get a cool look at that. Um, okay. The other thing, so I just I was just about to end this video and I just realized I summoned all the minions, but I didn't get the mount. Um, also, I wanted to go over achievements real quick. I think that's probably where the mount comes from, is achievements. Maybe. Um. Oh, here they are. So you do, uh, you do also get achievements for getting each minion. Uh, watch me if you can. They're all there. Um, and then uh, you must needs befriend them all. So you get the whispers. So you do have to. I have to go. I have to go to what's his face. Uh, in in Gradata. How could I have forgotten the mount? How could I have forgotten the mount? The whore of mountain minions. I have forgotten the mount. That's bizarre to me. Okay. So, once you get them all, uh, you get the achievement. Uh, you must needs befriend them all. And it's obtain all yokai minions and whisper goki. Uh, it may simply be their imagination, but some say they can hear the sound of a thousand groans as the key turns the gears. Um, let's go get our mount. Are you going to look at my friggin' weapon or am I just going to stand here? Oh, right. Keep forgetting about me. So here, uh, so my wife, my wife got the the whisper bow. Um, it's pretty cool looking. I like how it folds up. Uh, it's a kind of a neat thing. And then turn around for me, cat. Or let me let me get a good look at the quiver. Yeah. She's moving around. Uh, the, the quiver looks kind of cool. I like the way the the arrows are shaped on the back of it. And then turn around for me. Well, I can't. You're not just hitting my arm. Well then. Yes, please. Okay. Stay where you're at. Um, kind of cool looking. You really can't tell that it's the Whisper, though. I know. It's got uh, a smile on it. It's got his weird smile on it. Um, but it's a cool it's looking bow. When it's close. He's got a little, his little buttons. Yeah. Um, so that's the bow. Uh, if I ever get any of the other weapons, maybe I'll do a video on it and talk about that as well. Um, okay. Um, so we went to Gridania, talked to... Johannes or whatever the his name is uh, for achievements. Um, get the whisper as you go key. We're gonna use that. You can now summon the whisper go mount. Okay, we're gonna go mount guide. I'm not sure where it's gonna be. There he is. It's on the very end, which is what I thought. Um, Taken in by the vibrant sights of the gold saucer, the wandering executives sought out the plaza's architects to design him a vessel of transportation, similar in flamboyance to his myriad attractions. To its myriad attractions. Attractions. This, this, the seats are so finely polished, riders swear it is that they were floating in air. All right, let's try it out. Oh my god, it's so weird looking. Uh, 
Oh, it just makes the regular mount sounds. Which is what I thought it was going to do. I was hoping it was going to play the yokai theme. Yeah, they probably couldn't get the copyrights to that, though. Look at that. It's, like a, it's so weird. It's like it's literally like a little kitty's ride. I'm like, how do I ride this? It's like little tail spins. That's pretty cool. Well, so another event done. Another event where you get a mount. Uh, this mount is really goofy looking. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of it. However, it's a mount. And I would... If they put a, a piece of chocobo dung as a mount, I would probably seek to get it. Uh, because I love mounts. Uh, anyway... Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Your viewership means the world to me. And until the next video, be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Like, yeah.